Okay, so the other day I made a video about um, Suicide Squad number 22, I believe, and uh, at the towards the end of the issue, maybe at the very end of the issue, Amanda Waller says, uh, I'm sending you after two metahumans and says you're going after Batman and Killer Frost. And quite a few people, like this is one of the, the bigger videos I've made since bringing my channel back from the dead for the 18th time. Uh, it's like got like 1500 views right now. Normally my videos get about 10% of that. So um, naturally uh, there are quite a few comments who aren't like the normal people just saying like, hey man, good video, this that, and the other. There's quite a few people who are like, you fucking idiot. Okay, you don't know anything. Metahumans aren't necessarily fucking superheroes, idiot. And I was just like, huh. Because every instance that I've ever heard the word metahuman used, it was in reference to somebody who had super powers, right? Batman doesn't have superpowers. He's greater than most human beings. In fact, he's probably at the very, very, very peak. I think that's the way he's described, right? He's the, the peak of human possibility, right? Like he's at the very top. Like no human could probably ever be as strong or like more strong, more intelligent, more athletic, more like just a perfect human, right? So, but that doesn't make you a metahuman as far as I'm concerned. And so there's multiple issues wrong with this, with, with call, with that fucking line in that book, right? So like they were either doing this on purpose because they knew nerds like us were going to get upset about it or like it just slipped through, you know, uh, I'd like to believe that they probably just wanted to piss people off or they wanted to get people riled up and talking about suicide squad because the sales were probably dropping or something, but Here's the interesting thing, right? So you look, you can look up, right? We'll look up metahuman. Go to metahuman, right? Um, we're gonna look up the word in the DC database, the the wiki, and it says a term coined. It's a term coined by the alien dominators and used to describe any human being with what are commonly described as superpowers. That's the first line in there. So I believe that's what most people would go by, right? And it seems to be what the dominators initially you know, referred to as metahumans. It wasn't Batman. It wasn't fucking Nightwing, etc. It was Superman. It was fucking static. It was fucking Wonder Woman, all these people, you know, uh, but the prefix meta in this context simply means beyond as in meta stable, which is beyond regular stability, ready to collapse at the slightest disruption or metamorphosis, which is the state of going beyond a single shape. So metahuman simply describes persons and or abilities beyond normal human limits. So while I will agree that Batman is beyond normal human limits, I don't think that that constitutes calling him a metahuman. In fact, I've, I find that really, I think that's a, a twist of the word metahuman. And I think it, it, it's, it's what brought us into this, this argument that's brought 1500 people watching the shitty video or the previous video and what will probably end up bringing more, pe more people than usual to this video. The video is talking about what a writer decided to put in his book and what the editors at DC decided to let through and how I quite frankly disagree with that and how if they're not going to like, you can't just be like, you can't just like, you can't just say that. Like, like Amanda Waller needs to be like, hey, you know, I've never really seen Batman use any super abilities, but like he does kind of like disappear off rooftops suddenly and shit like that. So I don't know, maybe he is a metahuman. Maybe he is super like powered, like something like that. But you can't just be like, yeah, Batman's a metahuman. We don't know that he is. We don't know that he isn't, though. So he's a metahuman. It just confuses your readers into like it's not. It's not an interesting writing situation. It's not. It's not brilliant writing. You're just confusing your readers. The people who've been reading this book, who thought Batman was a regular human for 75 years, who's just, you know, disciplined and trained over a huge amount of time into being the best possible version of anyone ever. But instead, you're like, you know, let's just confuse them. Maybe like. He's a superhuman now. Now, I did have like this one guy commenting, literally replying to every single comment and like linking some linking to uh, Scott Snyder's tweets. So we'll read Scott Snyder's tweet um, about the situation, which to me indicates a little bit of like dissension at DC where there's like people writing things without taking everyone's stories and 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 batman as a character into context and and just kind of doing what they want with him in a way so scott snyder tweets not to speak for suicide squad but batman is not meta he gets powers for stories like dark side war but he's never been meta in nature so 
coming from what I would call like the horse's mouth at this point. Scott Snyder is probably the writer uh, for Batman at this point, like uh, for the last five, six, seven, eight years, um, something like that. Like he's he's the Batman writer right now. So coming from him, Batman has never and probably will never be meta in nature. So at the end of the day, looks like right this whole thing was blown out of context because of one writer who writes Suicide Squad taking liberties where maybe they shouldn't have right like they they decided like they can just call batman a meta and it's going to be okay like you can't really do that because comic book nerds as i've noticed over like the okay so here's the thing right doing these videos over the past couple months like i'm not going to fucking lie to you guys i have i read comics but i don't read as much comics as you guys clearly because i get fucking comments on almost every one of these videos of people coming at me sideways talking about this that and the other talking about a comic book from 1972 that proves me incorrect or talking about a fucking comic book like some random ass bullshit uh 700th issue of some batman book i'm like i dog i don't give a fuck like this is the book i'm reading this is the context i'm reading it in if you give me bad context if there's no context i'm gonna read it under the the context that i have and if it's that if that's not enough like that's too fucking bad because that's the that's the, the thing that i'm going to draw from it and if you should have thought about that as you were writing it because you have to understand that not everyone has been reading since uh 78 years ago when batman was fucking created like that's not how that works you know but the point of the matter is you know not everyone reads everything and i think a lot of the guys who are into this comic book community right like a lot of you guys who actually read comic books all the time are really 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 bad at helping people join your community i think it, it like the way you guys come off makes it seem like you don't want anybody in here who doesn't already know fucking everything and it's terrible for the comic book community it's terrible for comic books as an industry quite frankly because no like the thing is with me right if somebody walks up to me and they want to talk about comics for example my girlfriend started you know she knows i like comics right so she's been asking me about um you know borrowing comic books and reading comic books and stuff like that if she had a question about fucking batman like wondering like does he have superpowers i'm not gonna be like you stupid fucking cunt i can't believe you would fucking think that batman of all people has fucking metahuman abilities all they meant in that book was that he's fucking more than human idiot like under every other context that she would have ever read under every other context that like a metahuman would mean that uh, the guy had superpowers. So if she takes all of that context, right, from all the other books that she's read, where all the other people who were considered metahumans were superpowered, and then they take this one little instance where somebody refers to someone who's not a metahuman as a metahuman, then she's going to think that Batman's a fucking metahuman, just like I did, and just like dozens, hundreds, thousands even of other people probably did. So my point is, there's an issue with the writing here. There's an issue with the editorial. There's an issue with the oversight of whether or not people like me, people who've been reading for five or six years, who have hundreds of comic books, who know a lot about the universe, like, you know, relative to normal people, I guess, won't understand what you're trying to say. Won't understand that you're just saying that Waller doesn't know that he's not a metahuman, that that she's guessing. Like, that's that's silly, right? That's silly to do, I think. And I think it's created something like this where I have to... I either delete a video that I made that I put I'll admittedly no effort into, but still a video that I made and I put up on my channel or alternatively make a video sort of like this explaining myself, right? Because now I have to sort of retract what I've made, right? Like that's bullshit. You should retract. Like that is an editorial mistake in my honest opinion. It's a writing mistake, which was then over oversaw by the fucking editorial who didn't say like, hey man, you think maybe that's right? Like, I don't know, not the right thing to do. Like, she should have said, look, you need to go after these two individuals. Like, she shouldn't have indicated them as metahumans because in every, like I said, every other context I've ever heard the word metahuman has been in relation to super-powered individuals. Not Batman, not Batwoman, not fucking Batgirl, not, I don't know, fucking Vigilante. Like, none of these cocksuckers are referred to as metahumans. Like, in any other context I've ever heard the word. So, if you're going to refer to people as metahumans who aren't metahumans, that's just silly because you're going to get people like me, even, who've, who've been reading comic books for years, right, confused. And the only people who are going to be like, no, 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 uh, everyone can be considered a metahuman as long as they put on a, a costume. Like, that's just not how that shit works for regular fucking people. Like, unless you have actually read every comic book and seen every instance of anyone ever being referred to as a metahuman, you're not going to know what they're talking about, okay? So there's my point. 
And my other point is that you guys are really shit at letting people into your community. Because even somebody like me, like I said, who's been reading comic books and goes to the comic book store every week and picks up multiple comic books, you guys come at all the time. Like, it's just like, you guys are just annoying sometimes. Like, I just gotta be honest with you. Like, you, I, I want the comic book community to grow. I want the comic book industry to grow. Because that's, like, that's me, right? And I assume, at the end of the day, that that's what you guys want, too. And so for the people who like you need to think it like you need to think about the word tact, right? You need to think about the way that you're coming at people because yes, you you like it's it's worth something to uh, tell somebody, "Hey man, like maybe you're like you're off base here." It's another thing to say like, "Hey idiot, you know, delete your video." Like this that and the other. Like there's, a lot of you guys just don't have any tact, right? You don't know how to go at, at situations like this. Because it shouldn't be a confrontational situation. It should just be a like a learning experience, right? It should just be like a hey, you know, like maybe you haven't been reading comic books for as long as as me, but like I've been reading comic books for like 20 years, and like I've seen multiple situations like this actually in the past, right? Where a comic book character was referred to as a metahuman, but like they aren't actually a metahuman. It's just because the people don't know that that superhero isn't a metahuman. And if you came at somebody like that, they'd be like, oh, shit, my bad, man. But instead, you guys are like, you fucking mongoloid. I can't believe how goddamn stupid you are. How did you even make it this far? How did you put your clothes on in the morning, you idiots? How did you wipe your ass last night? I've got to ask. Like, you guys, I don't know. That's some of you guys. Not all of you. Not all of you. Some of you. Some of you are assholes, basically. So, uh, I don't know. If you guys want your community to grow, like I do, if you want the industry to grow, you don't want it to die, because let's be fucking honest, comic books are about two seconds from dying. There's, like, like what's the, the mo like, um, highest-selling book? Like, 100,000 issues a month? That's nothing. That's nothing. It's so little. Like, the, like it, the comic book industry needs to grow. Like, you want, eventually, right, the comic books to get back to, like, the 1940s, where they're selling millions of copies, right? You, that's what you want at the end of the day. That's what I would like. I'd like for fucking my, all of my friends to be reading comic books. I'd like for everyone I know to be like, dude, did you read fucking Batman number 28? Just like when you're sitting there and you walk into school or you walk into work and you're like, dude, did you see uh, episode two of Game of Thrones? Like every, like you, I want that. That's what I want. I don't know. That's what I'm, that's all I'm saying. Batman doesn't appear to be a metahuman. Admittedly. Didn't think he was. I thought it was an editorial mistake. I still think it's an editorial mistake. I think even Scott Snyder at this point says it's an editorial mistake or a writing mistake because he's saying, you know, not to speak for Suicide Squad, but you're fucking wrong. So anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Please, from now on, like, just stop being cocksuckers about this shit in the comments. Like, just be a little bit more tactful, a little bit, a little bit more nice to the people who are attempting to break through into your community. It just doesn't seem like the right way to do it. It's not the way I would do it, personally. I don't feel like... I just don't feel like that's the way to do it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I won't have to issue a retraction on the next one. Oh, and by the way, you can check out my videos over here on the right. Like you can check uh, my podcast right here. You can check uh, another video we've done right here. So do that if you want. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know. Do what you want.